for my lead generation system? Does anybody know? My red careers. Red careers, right? <laughs> Danny knows it. <laughs> you know it very well. Because <laughs> every lead that comes through there goes to him, <laughs> to his school. So we have a lead gen source, just like you guys do, um, that we it pumps out, it does internet postings, and essentially it gets us leads for realtors. Um, we talk about profit share, we talk about growing your profit share, so, profit share, some of you will, some of you won't, doesn't matter. Um, but for those of you who actually care about that, you now have your own My Red Careers website that is branded to you for free from Keller Williams. So you have a flyer that's coming around. Um, the link on the There's a link. Yeah, I was going to write the link down, but it's duet. Oh, I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, there's a link where you go to register for your site. Um, they have had this available for agents to build their profit share, but it's cost you, I believe it's $100 a month. Um, Mandigo paid and had his, and I can tell you, Ivan and I get leads from him all the time. Um, so these are branded to you, and they now waived the charge. So their goal is to give you another tool to help you, and you pretty much turn it on. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's all we do. We write the check every month, and we get loads of leads. I mean, essentially, that's what Ivan does all day is uh, deal with those those leads. So um, this is phenomenal, and I would absolutely set it and click it. What will happen is when a lead comes in, if it operates, and I'm assuming it will like Mark's, or like the agent site has, it will, let's say it's Beth's site, the lead will come in, it's a registration, you know, Bob Smith, phone number, email address, best time to reach me, I am interested in career opportunities, becoming an agent, blah, 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 blah. It'll send it to you, and it'll send it to me, and it'll send it to you there. So we have a tracking mechanism to know that, you know, Tom came from Beth, and as we, you know, file our, create our file and follow it, we'll know that that was a lead that came from your site. Um, and then Ivan, you don't have to do anything with it. We call, we do the whole thing. As soon as it comes in, Ivan knows the system. It's at the phone, gives him a call, tries to get him in, face-to-face -face appointment, then try and get him to Denny, to the school. Denny goes to school, I show up, dog and pony show, follow up on Monday, after the school, we talk with them, they pass their test, they get licensed. It's kind of like that. How many do we have in the last class? There's one right there. Yes, that's going to be there. Exactly. So um, you're crazy if you don't take five minutes to do this. I'm just going to tell you, you're just dumb. It was 30 seconds. It, yeah. I did it just this morning. It was literally 30 seconds. We will push this out to everybody, but you get a head start. Jen. I can tell yes. you. Oh, Jen. That's Jen. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I can tell you that Bruce, when we talked with Bruce last week, he turned his on, and within the first couple of days, he had an agent in Texas, like a $20 million Texas, contact him. Him in Spokane has, now has a Texas recruit Team. for a market center in Texas. So we talk about you know, spreading your influence. This doesn't, this isn't just people who want to get into real estate in Alaska. This is people who want to get into real estate. Right. So it is a really valuable, valuable tool. Okay. Um, training calendar, what else am I missing? Monday. 66 days. 66 day challenge starts Monday, March 17th at 9 a.m. Ivan, Shana, and myself will all be here 9 to 12. Um, If you have a kid you're dropping off to school at 9, get here anyway. I, I'm not going to let that be an excuse. I don't, I, I mean, I'm a mom, I get it. Allison has to deal with me coming into work trying to run kids around too. So I'm not, I don't want to like set the stage for like no accountability. I would rather you here at 9.15. I get it. Sometimes you have to take your kid to school. Just get here and, and be a part of this. If you want to take advantage of the market and what's happening in the market, this is the best way to do it. We're going to have scripting, we're going to have accountability, um, you guys are going to set the rules, we're going to track our numbers, it is a fantastic opportunity for you to lead generate together. Um, and like I said last week, no one is allowed to come to my office and whine and cry that they don't have business because all I'm going to say is, are you in the training room from 9 to 12? Because if, if you are, and you're doing everything we tell you, then you have a problem, we need to talk. 
Do you really get people in your office whining about not having business? Oh, Lord have mercy, yes. <laughs> I'll give you your ten dollars for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There was a sign on my door for a long time. Do you remember what it said? I finally took it down. There's no economic challenge that can't be cured by twenty contacts a day. Is that once a week? Every day. Every day? Six, six or six days. Five days. Are you supposed to be lead generating every day, five days a week, two three hours a day? Yeah, it's time to go to work and do your job. Is that, is that just once? This is your job. So we're going to make it absolutely viable for you. And we're also going to increase the accountability. So if you say, well, I'm not going to lead generate every day, well, then you've got to be able to say those words. And that's that's your personal decision. You're an independent contractor. I can't beat you with a stick. But you'd like to. I, I didn't say that. What if you have a that's the beauty of this being a peer accountability because you're going to come in and set the stage and be able to determine what's permissible and what's not. We have some people that have some vacations. You guys are going to give, your, give yourselves permission that yes, that's an excused absence or no, it's not. I'm not going to make the rules. Shane is not making the rules. Savannah's not making the rules. You guys will. Yes. Post team meeting. Uh, we are going to do it at the same time and we're just going to figure it out. <laughs> we haven't quite figured that piece out yet. But we'll make it work. Actually, if I, if I could cancel the trip to see Colleen's family, that would be fantastic. Actually. You would like permission to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll forget to tell you. Yeah, I'm going to text her right now. <laughs> Nate asked the room. I, I, I feel blackmail coming on. We have that recorded. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right We um, are looking at that. Because we're doing it, and yet now, now all of a sudden, our ALC remembered that we taught 40x, <laughs> and they're asking for it again. So we're, I'm working on whether we're just going to do it there and talk about if they want to do it, come out there, which is what I'm leaning towards. What's but, 40x? Um, four disciplines of execution. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And recruit select the 24th and 25th of April in Seattle. Yes. Okay. So for those who have been lead generating, let's run through some awards real quick. <laughs> um, written volume in February. And it still amazes me that in a crappy month, we still have this. Belisa, 552,500. We've, <laughs> we've, we've named Casey and Jesse, apparently. The night boy? Uh, the brother's night. <laughs> <laughs> 584,800. Dan Potts, 600,000. Brandon Tatum, 672. Yeah, he's had his license for two months, not quite. Congratulations to Move in Alaska, 683,000. Anna Schulman, 734, 750. Larry Malden, 739, 760. Van Corbin, 787,900. Simpson and Company, 798,400. Les Bailey and Associates, 850. Justin McGee, 980. And he got married. Uh, Real Estate Professionals of Alaska, that's uh, Clinton. Sorry, it's hard to keep track of all these names. 1,037,000. The Poolin Group, 1,080,500. The Kristen Cole Team, 1,191,400. AK Homes Team, 1,304,000. Is that you guys? That's you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like your worst team leader in the world. I'm Is that you? No? Okay. <laughs> we have 17 teams within Alaska, and in the, the Alaska 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 Mandigo Manor Home Team, 1,627,000. Cuesta Lock, 1,654,334. Randy Pennington, 1,698,194. The Dar Walden Team, 1,745,900. Alaska Home Group, that's you. 1,800,000. <laughs> Happy Lucas team. I talked to Patrick this morning. They have 30 pen names right now. He's pretty excited. 1,959,900. Sean Babbitt had a great month. 2 million in written volume. Brandy Kroom had a pretty great month. 2,111,400. The Erickson Group, 2,621,899. 
Vicki Hudson, just one, <laughs> every month, she just cranks it out, quite. 2,626,300. Drusido team in Kenai, 2,667,300. Bob Bolding, that's all I'm going to say. But the spirit of gratitude for the people I work with, $2,922,315. Cross and Associates, $3,405,900. Kira Dreyer, $3,411,800. The Read More Group wrote $5,909,783. And Unity wrote $11,264,055. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, close volume. All right, that's real quick. Uh, Patty Kapinski, she left, right? 506,500. Brandy Kroom, 542,5. Simpson and Company, 606. Team Dimmick, 691. Anna Schulman, 734,750. Larry Malden, 750. Pooling Group, 815,500. Les Bailey, 850000 Oh, there you go. You're back on rhythm. Um, Joe Bell, Les Girls, 18, 854900 Janice Tolbert, team, 8928 Lane Gunter, 900000 Derek Suter, 962-800. Kristen Cole, team, 1044000 dollars Come Home Anchorage, 1060900 Questa, 1125640 Real Estate Professionals of Alaska, Clinton Peterson, one million four hundred twenty-two. The Erickson Group, one million five seventeen five hundred. Brady Pennington, one million six ninety-eight one ninety-four. Vicki Hudson, one million eight fourteen six hundred. Alaska Home Group, one million eight thirty-five nine hundred. Includes volume. Bob Bolding, uh, two million twenty-five thousand four hundred fifteen. Move in Alaska, two million eighty thousand. Dar Walden, 2,414,800. The Radford Group, 2,433,180. Kira Dreyer, 2,570,200. Chris Drusido, 2,817,400. Heidi Lucas, 2,895,900. Reed Moore, 4,242,800. Unity Home Group, closed uh, 6,164,574. Cross and Associates closed eight million nine hundred sixty-six thousand eight hundred. There's some crazy production happening. Okay, real quickly, we'll get some paydays out and we'll run through them super fast. All right, here we go. Shana Echoes, Lori Ahi, Charlie Bad, Les Bailey and Associates, Joe Bell, Andrea Denner, uh, Katrina Benton, Andy Strand, Tyler Bobo, Chris Bowman, Bob Bowman, Wendy Brinkers, Dave Brown. Stephanie Callahan. Yay, first one. Fine. It took eight. She got licensed. It was eight weeks later. She had her first check. Paul Calloway, Kristen Cole, Kevin Cross, Brenton Dewan, Matt Dimmick, Nikki Dishnu. She's on a roll. She is, and she's about to have a baby. She's on contractions yesterday. Chris <laughs> Drusdo. Just make sure everybody's aware. Just letting you know. <laughs> Any day now. We got another onesie. <laughs> and Erickson, oh, Caitlin Espada, Todd <laughs> Esty, John Shaporta. Yeah. Will Fernandez, Patty Kapinski, Kim Hardman, Kelly Harris, Quake Hayden, Selena Hodge. Good, that was her two. two. Her first two, yep. Yep, good. Uh, BJ Hornack, Vicki Hudson, uh, Patrick <laughs> James, Bill Johansson, uh, Michael King. He left, he was here. Tyson Kroon, Kim Kruchowski, Lindsay Larson, Paul Leishman, Valise Selenian. <laughs> it was today, it was yesterday, this last week. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, you'll get one next week. Okay. Trust a lot. Joe Lounge. That's how I bribe you to stay back. <laughs> Kendi Lucas, uh, Amy Matthew Hornet, John Mapes, Justin McGee, Graham McMenamin, Christy Mock, Reed Moore, Cody Mori, uh, Stephanie Ollendorf, Linwood Parker, John Parks, Alyssa Parent, Amy Peltier, uh, Clinton Peterson, Dan Potts. Brittany Radford, Chris Rakoff, <laughs> Mee Green, I'm just going to watch Allison, <laughs> Stephen Renner, John Rodriguez, Chrissy Schellenberger, it's fun to say, I like to say her name, it's fun, <laughs> Stuart Smith, Joe Sonderholm, Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hey, Jim. Yes. Jim Stelka. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Two 
the left. <laughs> Jesse Tanner, Chris uh, Thomas, Eric Katinas. Oh, we did it right, Eric Katinas. Brian Tollison, Jeremy Tompkins, Jason Trout, Kristen Van Wee. I know. Danny Wood. Yeah, at 1 o'clock. Or 12 o'clock. Danny Wood. Danny Wood. Um, okay, me. so we've got. <laughs> we've got two. <laughs> so I want to give. Um, we've got two more things to do. So, first of all, Lindsay and Christy. Gosh, guys, I just appreciate y'all being in our meetings. Thank you for, for being here. Anything you guys want to add, say, talk about? Tracy and I kind of talked this morning because we said oh. last time Jen asked us. <laughs> we had, we're like, there really hasn't been. Much and, of and, um, the only thing that we're noticing is, and, and this is what happens when a market's turning. Um, certain things lag behind and so what we're looking at potentially happening is that when you're walking into multiple offers and your buyer wins that offer that you may want to prepare them for when the appraisal comes in our market is still shifting and so the data is still being collected for sure. this new range of sales prices so we may get an appraisal bad. who comes in just so you're preparing them yeah. for that if it doesn't happen awesome but if it does happen, they don't feel like this was a surprise that you should have prepared them for because you're the professional. So setting expectations up front that you know our market's in the process of turning. By summer, we're gonna have great data to support our appraisals. But right now, you're the front runner. Yeah. And what's happening some is that conversation's going on. But on the our side of the table, we've got the clients where they're trying to push to get as much cost paid by the seller sure. and they're not wanting the sellers aren't wanting to pay as much as they were. And so now we're looking at I'm having a conversation with the client just the other day where, okay, well what if it this this was such a push to get them to pay even this much of your closing costs. It was such a struggle. What if it doesn't happen? Yeah, what's, what's your backup plan? plan? What's the plan? Do you have a backup plan? Um, and so you know that's kind of the bulletproofing of if best case scenario this all works fine and dandy. Worst case scenario it comes in low and they're either going to lower that price or they're going to, I mean, they're going to lower Take it. the concessions off or something. They're yeah. going to lower Do you love that you have lenders that have these conversations? Thank mm -hmm. you guys for doing that. Uh, Phyllis and then Jen. I just tried to change that. I mean, our appraisal came in just on, on the one we're closing today, 1500 under. And it really upset me because uh, they only had the one comp in that area. And unfortunately, the listing agent that listed that condo 20,000 under price plus lesser commission. So he had to use that comp. And yeah. I tried to fight him on it, yeah. went to the lender, went, to, went directly to that appraiser. Right. I will afterwards, after this closes, I will have a conversation with him because that, that those properties are way worth more than that. And just because yeah. they were trying to get out of it, just to get rid of it, which is still Well, I mean, and that's a challenge. And like Lindsay said, I mean, it's a great point. The pipeline of data is coming. Yeah. yeah. It's coming. Because it's happening, it's just we're still using comps for the last six yeah, months. Yeah. Um, Jen? I was just going to say thank you to our lenders because I have a lender right now, Wells Fargo, um, that he's telling the buyers, you know, oh, don't worry, it's really normal to have closing costs paid for, and your agent should be able to get that for you, and your agent should be able to. And it's just really nice with our lenders not to have to, I mean, we have enough to battle out there with multiple offers, not to have you know, a lender sitting behind a desk telling me how to do my job. Um, so I just really appreciate well, working it. collaboratively. Right. Yeah. Right. So it is because yeah. the market is shifting, and you know we can tell them as much as we want to. But if the person who's holding the money is telling them something different, what do we look like? Yeah. So it doesn't sit anymore. Um, no. Malin, HSA, welcome. Anything you want to share with us? Anything we need to know? I get some burn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was watching your pictures. I blocked you from my feed for a little bit. Although she did bring you cookies to in exchange for coming back with a lovely tan for vacation. Um, we did actually change one thing um, that's actually pretty major for the new buyers that were kind of on the fence of whether or not to get a warranty at closing. They uh, were used, they only had 30 days to do that. Yeah. Uh, they now have 60 to actually mull it over and think about whether or not they want to. That's nice. So we just recently changed that about two weeks ago, and so there's now 60 days to honor that price on the brochure. Awesome. Hey, you have a comment? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Um, lastly, I want to just bring you up to speed on real quickly. Um, well, I'm sorry, two more things. Welcome, Carl. Um, Carl, we're say your last name again. Holf. Holfield. Holfield. Okay, that's right. Um, just passed his test. Going to be signing his paperwork today. Um, <laughs>
Roughly, it doesn't matter. Anything with the two in front of it is tiny. Um, I talked to them yesterday. Um, baby is is home and has crested four pounds wow. and can almost fit in a car seat and um, is doing very well. Mom is great, uh, continuing to grow, going back for another checkup, and, um, and just I mean, just absolutely amazing that um, they had a little bit of a scare. She actually was throwing up for the first time. Of course, anything that tiny when they're growing up, it's very scary. Um, so just keep him in your thoughts. If you see him, if you're doing a deal with him, cut him a little slack. <laughs> He's got a few things going on at home. Um, and then again, if um, as, as you all know, um, Christy uh, Tanner, Jesse Tanner, Brad Cole, Kristen Cole, obviously lost um, brother and son, uh, Aaron Tanner, last week um, to a gunshot incident. And so Kristen's home. Um, I say this not to be like, oh, this is what I did for you guys, but I want you to know, um, Allison and I agreed together in talking. Um, I went to the airport um, when Kristen and uh, when Kristen flew home that night, so I was there to meet her uh, when she got here, um, just to have a face at the Market Center, you know, just to say we love you. Um, I think we spoke 20 words, maybe, not much you can say. Um, so Christy, her daughter, was there to pick her up. So I got to see Christy and her husband, David. Uh, Kristen had her older, other two kids, Zach and Tegan, with her. She picked them up. She was in Atlanta, and she got the news. Um, talk about miraculous. She was with John Maxwell, who sat there and held her hand and coached her through how to call her kids, how to tell her kids, how to tell, just wow. unbelievable. Wow. Jesse and Kristen, Jesse and Christy knew, but she had to get the information to Zach and Tegan, her younger two, that are in Arizona. Um, Maxwell's organization completely orchestrated the flights. She just wanted to show up, flew to Phoenix, got the kids, flew here. I met them at about 1 in the morning at the airport, got her, just helped her get her bags, got her over the car, came home. Um, they're doing well. I spoke with Brad today, texted with Christy, and uh, texted with Christy, and uh, Kristen this morning, continuing to do well. We do not know yet about services. Um, it will, we'll know when we know, and we'll let, certainly let you know. Um, but Aaron was um, a naval in the Navy. He was on a ship, and he was in a Desert Storm, I believe it was. Um, and so he is a veteran. So what they've asked for is flags. And people say, what does that mean? It does. It means whatever you want it to mean. An American flag it can be the little stick. Thing with a note, it can be a flag you purchase and have folded. It doesn't matter. Um, if you want to bring them here, we are more than happy to run them out to the office for um, you guys. What I would just do is bring one, write a note. We'll take it to them. They'll be able to open them as you know as they're able to. Um, just tra you know, tragic. And and Jesse, Jesse, for those of you who know Jesse Tanner, who is quite possibly one of the most incredible human beings I've ever met in my life. Just Heart of gold, unbelievable person, just pure hearted guy. Um, Aaron was his best friend, not just his brother, his best friend. So he is uh, really having a hard time. And he posted on Facebook, so I'll share, just really angry, you know. Um, so just keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Um, Ed Walden offered to go on listing appointments for him. I told him that. They were blown away. You guys just show support in such amazing ways, and I just love you for the fact that we take care of each other, and you do that consistently. So um, people ask what's appropriate. Uh, they have more than enough food to last probably feed a small army for the next 10 years. Um, 
what I have told people, and they have all validated this to me, is um, <coughs> a text, an email. They're really not able to answer phones. You know, sometimes it's hard to get through voicemails. Text is just easier. No reply needed. Just letting you know we're thinking about you. Um, if you don't have a cell number and you want to text, feel free to call the front desk. We can get that for you if you don't have it, or some of them aren't on the MLS. You know, you guys are all such high-dollar realtors. You block your cell phones now so nobody can get a hold of you. Um, but I just wanted to bring, give you an update on the family and how things work. Um, I went out to drop off that quilt out to the valley yesterday, or on Sunday, and um, went out and, because um, I also saw your thing with the flag. So I saw there was a flag at the four corners. Somebody put a flag. They're putting them all over and so, and so I thought, okay, I'm going to go a little bit further down where I used to work with Master Title, mm -hmm. and I put it at the corner of the corner there. And then I started driving a little bit more, and I'd see some more flags. So it's kind of cool, and I know that they're seeing that now the, in the, the family. And um, I did uh, text uh, Kristen, because she's a friend too, and, and she did respond, and I was surprised she did. But she, yeah. she's very grateful for the prayers, the thoughts, the support with KW. Yeah. Absolutely. So, What's a, is there a public service for that? We don't know yet. Um, I talked to Brad this morning. There's still, Aaron was an organ donor. And so, um, getting the body back after you, know, you have to have that process happen um, and some other things that they're working through. So, trying to get, orchestrate all that, and then you've got everybody's opinions. You know, anytime you get a large family together. <laughs> And try and make a decision. It's uh, it's always interesting. So, hopefully, we will. Um, they're trying to make a decision on a service. Brad told me today he hopes to have a decision. He hopes they have a decision by Wednesday. So as soon as we do know, we certainly will let you know. I mean, Erin was very very well known in Wasilla. You know, Questa called me just broken up on Friday. She you know grew up with Erin and Jesse. High school, junior high. She's like we party together. We hung out together. We played sports together. Uh, it's it's a tight knit community. It's a very tight knit community. So everybody knows everybody and it's good stuff. It's really hard. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to text me and I'll be happy to keep you posted as I, as I know information as well. So that being said, go forth and you know conquer the market. Cool. You guys are awesome.